Are you wasting your time learning C programming in 2020? Let me explain. This video was brought to you by Diginic Academy, your number one source to learn how to make money programming and get that six figure salary you desire. Our academy have a wide range of courses, including 3K in 30 days, our mentorship membership program, and much, much more. When you sign up for our free community, you get access to our membership community with like-minded professional who's going to help take your career to the next level. So let's take the first step to get started and really take your career to the next level with our seven step money guide today. So let's go ahead and click the link below to sign up for our free seven step guide to help you get your career started today. What's up guys? Sorry about the noise you're going to be hearing in the background. They're doing construction on neighborhood, but the show must go on and I got to deliver you guys some good content. So let's talk about C programming today. C programming has this place, just like any other programming language guys. A lot of you guys feel like one language is better than the other. Every language has this place and I'm going to give you some reasons why you should learn or should not learn uh, C programming in 2020. So guys, let me tell you a quick story. In the 1990s, I used to, uh, well, me not personally, but I used to have my program um, instructor used to always tell us the, uh, how Java is going to take over the world and all this stuff and C is not going to be the programming language of choice and how Java is going to take everything over. Java used to be the future. Kind of like how Python is now, where everybody's saying things are going to Python. Java used to be that in the, the 90s, so just giving you perspective. But C and C++ plus are one of those legacy programming languages that people felt like hey you know it takes so long to program in it's harder to learn and we need something better but guys as you already know C is very fast C it has a lot of use cases C is one of those programming languages. yeah it's harder to learn but if you put it in the right situation, it can make sense for you. Me personally, I wouldn't learn it in 2020, especially as a beginner. But if you one of the guys who have to manage these core infrastructure type project or software softwares that you lever leverages a ton of processing power, is core functionality of any application stack you're probably going to be using C or C++ only because low level languages are faster and you're going to have to leverage these languages to really utilize that speed. For 98% of us, we don't have that problem because we use programming languages that are still at the scale we need, it's just as fast. Like Python, PHP, uh, you can basically create enterprise level applications as long as we're not scaling out as much or uh, using as an operating system or something we're gonna be good and it works great for basic software and um, the level stuff that we do it's only until you start to get into the large 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 enterprise level softwares that t that needs tons and tons of fast processing power like operating systems or, or larger enterprise software like uh, Photoshop or, e or even um, Pre, uh, Premiere Pro or something like that, you're good guys. I, I don't know too many developers who just are creating apps off of that on, on, on that level of scale. Even on the Apple side of things, you got Swift, Objective-C, all that over there, and you're not necessarily creating stuff at scale even in the Apple store. But it's just say if you're dealing with an operating system or something like that, then maybe so. But to answer your question, as a beginner, I would not touch C programming language right now. But once you get to that certain niche, it's gonna make sense. But I'm gonna give you guys detail on which route to go. If you already start C um, programming and you've been doing it for a while, continue, you, you're on the right track. The good news is you understand it. It gets no harder than C. <laughs> C is one of those programming languages where, you know, if you can get it, you're on top of the world because it's, it, it, it don't get any harder than C. Well, yes, it does. You start to get assembly and other, other, other lower level languages, but all the newer stuff, you're going to be able to code that pretty easy, guys, because you're dealing with memory management and all this other stuff that program, other programming languages do not have to deal with. And PHP, uh, Python, even uh, C Sharp, 
in Java, you don't have the, the stuff to worry about as far as just memory management and all the other stuff, guys. So it's very important that you do that and um, kind of make sure that you um, kind of know where your place is as far as just uh, C. The downside about C, guys, it takes a long time to get out projects relative to Python and PHP. It takes a long time and it's not a, it is not a good uh, right time programming language, man. It, it takes a while to do simple stuff. So that's a huge con. And um, that's why other programming languages was able to kind of come and take some of the market share from C because of that reason right there. You know, it's faster than all the rest of them, but from a write, writing uh, perspective, it's horrible, guys. It's one of the, it probably the most horrible out of the, the modern, well, relatively speaking, it's not modern, but the ones that we use in our top 10 languages is definitely the slowest, guys. So you have to be aware of that. And um, my point I'm trying to make is know what to expect with the programming languages that you use. With Python, PHP, I'm expecting to build a nice solid app that my company can use. I'm not trying to build the next core software package. I just need something solid to do the job had done. If I'm trying to build the next operating system, I probably need to use something like C or C++. Uh, you think you're gonna have a really productivity software platform that you're gonna be using where other apps are gonna be running on top of it? You probably need to be using C. But most of you guys, especially beginners, don't have to worry about that. I wouldn't start using C if you are if you if you're thinking about programming and you haven't started yet, I would go with Python or PHP. If you have started C already, get done with the C programming language and find out what the market is for you getting a job in your area. If there are jobs in C, then go start developing in C. More likely going to be Java or PHP or uh, C Sharp. I guarantee you that in most cities, unless you're in some of the um, tech driven cities like Silicon Valley, maybe New York and Austin, that's where you're going to start to see the Python that's coming into play. Um, the data science, the AI, the, 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 the core leading um, technology leading software companies, those, this is what you're going to see there. So you need to be aware of the use case of C or whatever programming languages you use, guys. I made some notes here, so I want to make sure I cover all of them. I tend to rant <laughs> with these, so I want to keep keep focused and make sure I get you guys something that you can do. So, um, at the end of the day, guys, you would never go hungry learning C programming. It's always going to be in demand to a certain extent in the near future. Uh, I don't see anybody or any uh, program that comes into that realm right now. Uh, maybe as uh, hardware get more powerful, uh, C or uh, Python or PHP or C Sharp or Java could possibly come in and take some of that market share from our operating system or a gaming perspective, but I don't see it anytime soon because what's gonna happen is at scale, as we scale out, you're gonna want a programming language to run, run, run faster, and you wanna peak perform. When you're talking about peak performance and the right time is not your priority, it's gonna always land on C, C++. So kinda keep that in mind, guys. So, guys, um, let me know what you think. I've been trying to experiment with stuff for a while with the channel. I'm still in a process of trying to organize my content. And I think I'm doing a really good job, especially how things are gonna be in the future, but I wanna get you guys input. Um, I'm working on stuff with the Academy, I'm building out courses, I'm really kinda unifying all of my courses, all of the content into one solid message so that it'll make sense for you guys. So if you already, um, been on, checked out my seven step guide. I'll be updating that so you can probably revisit that pretty soon here. And um, same with some of the core, co core courses. <laughs> I say that a lot of times. Core courses. And uh, we're going to make sure we give you guys an experience that's cohesive because um, I'm always updating. I'm always looking at the market, what's out there, how to get the job faster, how to get faster, how to get to that six figure job faster. Always trying to figure that stuff out guys but at the end of the day 
C programming language is going to be here for the near future. Uh, if you just dead set on learning it, learn it, be good at it, master it, know your place, know your niche, that's the way to go. If you don't want to learn it and you want to learn something else, go that route too. You have done the most important thing now. Commit it to a language and start really um, taking things to the next level from yourself. Like, subscribe to the content. If you guys have any additional questions, comment below. Go ahead and support the channel, guys. Grab some of my premium courses or sign up for my seven step guide that's gonna get you closer to that, set, that six figure salary you desire. And uh, if you haven't already, I got the link up here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.